Yo, this is 50. Yep. ATL. Yep. The ESSO on, yep. the, on the left. The HY, the Heineken. Boom. My man came triple cupped up. OC oh, was man. like, yo, chill with the six cups. <laughs> nigga, nigga got an ill shirt. Uh, uh, what's your name, killer, man? Hey, man, Cartel Doe checking in, man. Yo, P- Pow TV was telling me about you. He was like, yo, Cartel Doe's that, that, that deal. And, so, man. and the reason why I'm saying that to you, yo, I've met Pow since 2011. And for years, he used to bring me all these niggas I never knew. And he'd be like, yo, all these niggas going to be famous. I'm like, fuck out of here. <laughs> and then it's the baby. It's um, Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion. Um, who else, my nigga? It's Young and May. Young and May, he bought to us. Designer. Designer. Oh, yeah. K Camp, Black, Black, Black Youngster. Youngster. <laughs> this is all, leg- and we have this all on footage. Oh, yeah. All on footage. Um, I remember the first time when Moneybag Yo came to us. We didn't know who he was. So his thing was having a Louis bag with 50000 in the bag, and he mm. would do that in every show. Oh, word. So after a while, I was just like, yo, whoever you bring to me, I need that Coke. So, nigga, you up next. What you got cooking right now? Because I know you about to stun on these hoes. Man, I need all this fact, shit. Man, I'm having so much emotion, man. Got the net project. We're going to drop that top of the year, though. You know what I'm saying? But mm. right now, I got singles out. I'm going to drop some shit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Drop some shit with Quando Rondo, you know. Oh, what I'm saying? Quando yeah, Rondo. Yeah, that's, okay. that's my young nigga. You know what I'm saying? So shit. Then I got one video drop, finna drop. That shit gonna be on all on all major platforms. Got Coco Vango. You know what I'm saying? My mm-hmm. boy from um, Love and Hip Hop. He got a he had a top single too. I think he. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Him, you know Especially saying? with light skin Keisha, yeah, they they yeah. they been cooking. You know what I'm saying? He working. That's my dog too. So you know what I'm saying? Finna drop that. Man, I just got so much shit on the way, dog. It's like I can't wait for the world to hear this shit. Like mm. I'm telling you, I'm finna take it by storm. Mm. Boy, pal, so, you know what I'm saying? My dog pal ain't never led you wrong. Never, <laughs> never, oh, God. Man. So just know, by me sitting right here, what's next? You know what I'm saying? What's to come? So, for sure. So where you get your vibe from? Yeah, man, I'm really from I'm from Arkansas originally, born and raised. Oh, in what high part? School, right outside of Little Rock, a little small town mm-hmm. called Stuttgart. I got a dude. Right um, um, I, I had signed a dude from Blyville. Blyville, oh, see, yeah. See, <laughs> I, I, I was out there, son. <laughs> my, my late aunt from Blyville. Thugville, you know what with what that thug town they yeah, call it, thug town, sure. exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the booger. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That shit real slimy. So that's why we call it the booger, sugar booger. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stuttgart, take out the T's, you left with sugar. I Sugar like this time. talk, you know This my shit, I know shit, about dude. that. That's why I said my man's out in, in you know Thugtown, yo. They had the God, best like, weed, all the chicks ready to go. All of that. All Everything, of that. yo. Is, yo, you be surprised. It like, go, yo. It go down in and they go right to town, Memphis. Like, when it's time yep. to get lit, they go right to Memphis. Memphis an hour and a half from my Oh, that's town. light trip. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. So, like, Memphis, Little Rock, we was all up through like Central Arkansas, mm-hmm. Tennessee, Mississippi, casinos. Yeah, like casino, that. it's mm-hmm. lit. Yeah, right there in Mississippi, so we yep. stayed down there. You if you got some that. money down there, boy, the world oh, is God. open to you for out real. there, God, for real. And it's a lot of niggas with money out there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, like, ain't shit to do in Arkansas, but like, mm-hmm. really just the streets, so you gonna mm-hmm. work, work a nine to five, and it's like, they do a lot of music out there. Yeah, they do music, but, but they like, they don't know how to get out of there. They don't know how to get, you gotta you gotta mm. move out of Arkansas. It's not enough people that not saying people that do music, but that's like really involved in what's going on with the music. It's not enough support mm-hmm. in many aspects. So it's like you just do music. You really just gonna be like local. But but they don't know? spend no money out they there neither though. They do on their mu- no, no. They, on they on music. music. That's what that's like, it's, that's it's, the key. It's some people that do. But they be like a country nigga be blind to like the city game, especially with the music industry, because yeah. there's no there's no industry in Arkansas, yeah. or in them little small places. You what, know what, what I'm saying? What, so it's easy to get got. Like I done seen niggas spend two hundred, three hundred in the country. Like they having money. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Bring like, that two hundred to Esso. He'll have you. Yo, I, I have swear you. to God, any one of y'all want to bring that two hundred to me? Yo, I have nigga. You so. And we're fucking lit. Litty. I'm already lit, yo. World, what? Honey, 
Yo, you you didn't just say that to niggas like yo, us. B. Yo, bro, right. we will have Arkansas, so the lit. new Atlanta, right. if you spend yo, that money like, with us. I swear to is God. That many, is that many artists? No. Talent, yo, and they artists, dope. Yo, the dude yeah, I signed you know out saying? there is dope. Yo, son, he could sing, write, like, mm. all that. Nigga, a lot of nigga talent. was dope. They just don't know how to get discovered because they don't know how to move around. Mm -hmm. What did it you take for you saying? to figure out how to get your vibe out there and not get got, not get jammed up for other people that don't got the opportunities like in, in Atlanta? Arkansas? Yeah. Period. Pretty much, dog. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. live right out the high school. And that's the best, that's the best you gonna, I ain't gonna say like, that's gonna be your best chance at making it. Mm -hmm. From Arkansas is to move around from Arkansas. And they don't know how to do that. Mm. Like I left at 19. I already had a vision of what I wanted to do, like mm -hmm. what I seen myself doing. So I came to Atlanta right out of high school. Mm -hmm. And like, shit, I ain't had nobody here. And I slept in my car for like three, four months, clothes in the back, everything. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, and I just had that vision and I just worked my way up. And now I'm to the point where I can really put myself in the game if I need to. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, What's one? Get out. What's one of the biggest lessons you've learned from the game so far? Don't wait on nobody. Not That's yet. what he always tell me. He <laughs> said I'll be waiting too long. Yeah, don't wait saying. on Yo, nobody. Real like, shit. You gotta set your plan like and you gotta team, make your shit plan. Like, Go. Like can't try to drag niggas along. You can't do none of that. You just gotta focus on you, do yeah. you, and just stay consistent and keep working. That's what I like. Cause I got. Like, I got a whole squad, Prophet Quartier, you know what I'm saying? Shout mm. out Quartier, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's like, but like, they mine in other places. So it's like, niggas in the streets, niggas got families. So it's like, I'm trying to pull them towards my dream. And it's mm -hmm. like, that's hard, God. yo. You see what I'm saying? It's I took like, an L doing that, bro. Yeah, so it's like, I realized I really just got to do this shit with or without y'all. So it's like get your get your team, get your manager, your PR, yeah, yeah. your lawyer, get all that in Got place. It. And, like, and yeah. then when you get your when you get your little shots or your little um ways that you can put somebody on, you just pick the right one that can fill that position. That's mm -hmm. it. And Got then you it. start bringing them on, whether it's uh -huh. rapping a feature, whether it's doing business, bringing on the beats or whatever. You and your team got to see where it's time to fill in some some blanks, and then you bring your people on. Yeah. Um, that's so I'd ask you about your vibe and your aura, but like in terms of not only from where you're from, but like being from Arkansas, what's your inspiration musically? Who you looking at? Because we don't know what music's coming out there. I mean, so like, who you looking at from the A, from New think, York, like, from West Coast? See, Arkansas, like you said, we was right by Memphis, so mm. like the whole three six movement, Ooh. like Yo Gotti, Yo like, Gotti, Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti. Like, people don't even know. Like we was listening to Gotti back in ninety nine, before 2000. Five Star Chick and like, all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Exactly. Like the world didn't really, and they still didn't really catch on to Gotti then when he mm -hmm. signed the Cash Money. He caught a little good wave to. I never a knew he signed audience. the Cash Money. Yeah, he That's was with it. Cash Money at one point. So you know I didn't know that. Like, he grabbed a broader audience when he grabbed Cash Money, but, mm -hmm. but Gotti was grinding for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like we was on that Gotti way back. Gotti put out like five mixtapes <laughs> before he even got his deal. So before real, he put like, out, and then he was putting out so five like, more mixtapes and then putting like, out an album. Real. You know what? It, I'll tell you a El Yo Gotti story. Um, this is like ten years ago. This is one of them interviews that went viral when he was talking about 3-6. and we was on the other side of the room. They wanted us to interview with a hundred niggas, and I'm like. I don't interview with a hundred niggas. Tell that nigga to come to our room. And then, so we do, we about to do the interview. This is 2010. And I'm like, what do y'all see in Yo Gotti? Because up, he wasn't hitting in New in York. New York. Man, that mm -hmm. was 2010. And yeah. see, like, Gotti was buzzing in the South. No, he but, was like, you know, that we, was, that Gotti was, was majorly yeah, buzzing so, in oh, the South. Oh, no, that was like, Y'all saying y'all ain't hear about him in 2010? No, 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 like, not not hear about. I heard him, about him, but, but he didn't. He understand couldn't, he the couldn't, impact. He couldn't catch his vibe. Okay. Like yeah. he wasn't getting no New York radio play. He wasn't doing no show. We know we didn't get a chance pause to feel Yo Gotti's true, presence true. Mm -hmm. in yeah. our part of town. But, so he was asking people who was feeling it, "What do y'all get from that?" You want to know how they flipped the question on me? It's like, "What do y'all see in Mayno?" And I was like. <laughs> I that's get a good it. question. Sure, that's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Mayno, but that's Main Mayno's you know my saying? nigga. But I fuck I, with Mayno. He a real nigga, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I never got into his music. Just be honest. So, mm -hmm. like, it's know, a regional like, thing at that time, yeah. so I mm -hmm. got it. So when you mentioned got it, 
And then we interviewed him for three minutes, and we talked about beating niggas with gold ropes and chains, and that interview did a million views. Oh, so yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, dumb shit. For real. <laughs> but, but Gotti, I feel like that he got stronger and stronger oh, along yeah. the way. Yeah, Is that what real. you plan on doing? Definitely, definitely. And because because yeah. he been around 20 years now, Easy. and people still look at him like he's new in some places. In some places, for sure. But they still Gotti look at him. their foundation, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like... And can't nobody take that away now. Like, mm-hmm. you ain't never got to listen to a Gotti song again. And he going to be good. Oh, he good. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm on. Like, I'm trying to build this foundation. And that's basically what I've been doing just from mm-hmm. the ground up. Like, I'm really been, you know what I'm saying, my team shit. Shout out OC. Shout out Prophet Cartel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Pal. He fucking with the campaign. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's like... That's all it's been, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Ain't no major labels, ain't no investors came in. Ain't How about features? Do you got some oh, features yeah, up there? Features. I got a lot of features. I got man, features with Day Day, Casino, mm-hmm. FBG. Mm. You need a Yo Gotti joint. A little freaky. I got, I definitely need that Gotti. And that Gotti need to be your single. Sure. He can make that right. happen for you. You probably make dead ass. We're not bluffing. Hey, you. I That's believe it. I yo, believe let's figure out the guy, people. You need that Yo Gotti, and that could be your single because what I learned with the music, there gotta be some symmetry there, mm, right? Exactly. And being that you from that town that's close to there, although we you're in Atlanta and you rep in Atlanta, that's that's the shit that makes it go because that brings you back to where you was from. Mm-hmm. That, um, and that exactly. catches the vibe of where you're at right now. Exactly. And usually when you add that synergy, that equals a big record. Yep, for real. Monumental. And, it, and I'm gonna keep it real. What's your shirt saying? My Pussy, Pussy Bill, Bill Strong, strong Bones. Bones. You know what I'm saying? Strong you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, we real cocky over here, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cock strong, man, when it comes to that. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this nigga live in a porn star life. <laughs> my man said, Pussy Bill Strong Bones. I like that. Oh, God, That's my man. next post. And I'm gonna be real. looking. Yeah. Like, Pussy Bill Strong Bones. Please oh, believe God, it. Man, what you got? What you got in the cup, though? Because, you know, Pete, you know that's a saying? different culture. Because you skipped the double cup and went it, to the triple. This, this, it, got, it got that much more expensive, so I had to get another <laughs> cup. You know what I'm saying? So I added a cup to my double cup because niggas done added Added tax. COVID tax. Now COVID drink tax. Damn, 300 in line for some walk. Niggas want, man, damn the 5,000 a pint, if not more, for some walk. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm sipping walkie. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I got so, a big question for you, though. Yeah, what's that? Pass the drink. How do you feel about the vibe out here? Because us coming out here, nobody got no masks on. Everybody's partying. I'm calling niggas Man. in New York like, yo, yo, this is like Sodom and Gomorrah out <laughs> this month. It's black metropolis. There's nothing going on. How, yo, one, how do you feel about that? Are you really comfortable with it? Are you going with the flow? Man. And And do you think that the fact that y'all are outside, does that enable you to promote yourself more? Definitely, you know what I'm saying? Like, Atlanta been been lit since COVID started, for real, for real. This, mm. shit, this shit never stopped. Like, the clubs was back open in May, I think, end of April, May. And, like, they been packed out ever since. Like, <laughs> and due to the fact, you know what I'm saying, I was a COVID victim, you know what I'm saying? Really? Mm, you had COVID? Yeah, yeah, I had that shit. But due to the fact, I never got sick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you ain't like, know you had it. Or, like, it I, I did. Like, I had a little sinus shit, but it wasn't like it was bad. The sinus shit went away in the day. But then I'm like, I got home. I rolled up a blunt, but I'm like, man, I can't smell my weed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking I got some bullshit weed. So I start, <laughs> I open shit in the refrigerator. I'm trying to smell. I call my baby mama, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I, got, I think I got a sinus infection. I can't smell shit. And she, she was like, you she got COVID. The, she worked in the medical industry, so she was like, uh, you know that's a sign of COVID, COVID. right? Yo. I was like, what? Stop playing. So, like, shit. Y'all wildin'. Y'all wildin' out here. <laughs> but you want to know. <laughs> y'all wildin' out here. You want to know why he talking like that? He ain't going to say it outright, but he lost 17 people to that shit. Yeah. For real? Oh, damn. No sorry, bullshit. Because in New York, it was wiping I, niggas I, out. I heard. I heard the fir- the very first dude, shout out. Rest in peace to Jermaine Miller, the very first dude that died in New York and was on Nightline. I grew up with him in South Jamaica, Queens, my Damn, whole that's life. Crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. it Jermaine wiped out Miller. a lot of niggas and up see, top. See, like in the South, it's like niggas think that shit fake. 
No. Nah. Because yeah. we've been in the club. When I tell you we've been in the clubs and we've been packed out like you can't even move. Nobody got a mask on. Everybody smoking hookah, weed, cigarettes, whatever. Mm. Blowing that shit out their lungs. If I was in Papa Do's you know yesterday. Oh, nigga. Papa Do's was and turned was up. Like crowded. <laughs> we on the inside. I said, do y'all got outside scene? They was like, outside. They look at me like, yo, they, yo, outside scene. What the, the fuck, fuck, fuck you, you do that at? See, nah, that's real. Because like, I just got back from L.A. last night. And literally, all they restaurants make you sit outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like They literally like took over parking lots. Cause they that's New York, That's bro. New York, B. Restaurants outside. That is New York, that's bro. New York. And, and wait, not only do we sit outside, some of them got the glass. So if you want, a partition. So, yeah, so if like you want to spit on middle. you and your friends, you yeah. can do that, but it's not going <laughs> to go to them and their friends. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They got it, for real. They got it separated. Even in the casino. I was just in Vegas. Mm. At the crap table. They got a little partition. Glass yeah. Mm -hmm. Cut off at the And but you table. come to Atlanta, niggas like glass shit. Fuck what the fuck y'all doing? Man, That's some shit, pussy man. nigga shit. <laughs> Where the <laughs> pussy at? Pull it out. <laughs> oh, God. Back it up. I told Pal we at the on uh, showcase last night. Nobody got a mask on except me. His mask down, right? And a chick <laughs> actually leaves the club and goes outside and puts a fucking mask on. That's crazy. I said, I said, what the fuck is she doing? Why would you take it? Why would you put your mask on? I had on? a mask on inside and, and, and put and, it and, on and, outside. And, 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 and I seen her. She trying to touch the waitress on the butt. She was going crazy, son. Yeah, yeah. With she, no mask on, but then be like, oh, I, I got to leave. Let me put my mask on. Like, yeah, bitch, where funny. they do that at? Man, she must have thought that was her purse or something. Can't leave without that motherfucker. When you shooting your next video? Shit, I was planning on shooting some this weekend. For real. Oh, yeah. damn, we would have rolled shooting up. There, we would have been there. You I would have rolled saying? up on. Oh yeah, like I'm, I'm spontaneous. I love the video in. time. So yeah, like, I just, I got my cameraman with me right now recording. Yeah, he cooking. Y'all can't see him, but he here with What's me. What's up, cameraman? That nigga stabilizing too, though. Who, who shout shouts out, out the cameraman Truth. but us? You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy True, but you know what I'm saying? He ready to shoot some shit when we walk up out this motherfucker. Yo, True, so we gonna shit. shoot one right <laughs> now. True, yeah. no, turn God. the music on. We here, yeah. we lit. So what, what's your rollout looking like? Because OC was telling us you got this L rollout to distribute your music and your creativity the proper way. Even Powers like, yo, this the rollout, nigga. Let's go. Man, what? So basically, first plan is to drop all these singles, my features, mm. like I was telling y'all. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Drop all the features. I got a little freaky. Uh, mm. Casino, Quando Rondo, mm -hmm. Day Day. Day Day. Damn. Ooh, I got so many. Little Boosie. It's man. the triple. Oh, you got a Boosie yeah, joint? Yeah, got, you can't damn. remember. Oh, this nigga, this nigga. Hold on, hold on. It's like, shit, I've been working, so right. shit. Nigga so stuck in a Boosie feature. Okay. Yeah, for real. Well, I fuck with Boosie, man. That's I, I always fuck with New York yeah, loves Boosie, that nigga. Boosie, Boosie a real nigga. Them you need to come to New York a lot. You you would run that town if you link up with the right people. You ought to run that I've been town. out there. Damn, he's just giving you New York. Hey, right? man, man, I can't that wait. Town. I love New York. I only been out there once, you know what I'm saying? But due to the fact they, they showed me mad love. What? Oh, yeah. You oh. know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm partnering up with this um, little brand from New York. They called Donuts. You know what I'm mm. saying? My name, Doe. And it's mm -hmm. like niggas go nuts for Doe as in like money. Oh, they, you know that's lit. Saying? When you coming up for the launch then? Man, we just did my first like interview with them, like commercial type shit that they doing last week. He coming back out here. Okay. About another week with all the gear, we're going to do the photo shoot. And we just lining everything You're setting up, it up you know right now. I got right you. Now, I haven't got an official lunch date, but it's going to be dope. So y'all stay tuned. Like dope like homer simpson you know what i'm saying so mm. we love doe and it's fire because we got the hoodie with homer simpson too and yeah. you know that so it's like you love doe man you know what i'm saying you're gonna love me you love money i love i am money so everybody talk about <laughs> money out here uh, money is the number one you come to the a money is the number one topic D definitely D everybody dope. getting money right now i got one ignorant question as if my other shits weren't ignorant <laughs> <laughs> what what famous women you want to drop some dough in y'all <laughs> Who? Oh no no! Don't do that. He know what I'm talking about. Unless y'all in a relationship, then I'm like, I mean, we can talk behind the scenes. Then you know. Damn, y'all gonna make me say that? Yeah, man. I mean, all right. Fuck it. Half them know. real thoughts, man. Your baby yeah, mom ain't watching know. this. She, she you, watching. You this ain't shit. watching. What? You'll be surprised. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't watching all the way to but the nah. end. Oh, they watch to the end. I learned my lesson. Did you <laughs> shout Ooh, me I out, put baby? Some dough in, man. It's so many. 
beautiful women. Because like, you know what it is? I, just, I don't know, bro. I'm, let me keep it's it real. so many. Oh, man, that's All I can say, bro. You can't name one. When I hit that status, just put your hoe up. That's all I can say. You want to know? You really got to put your hoe up right now. So, like, Damn. due to the fact, you know what I'm saying, not the... You know what I'm saying? Not to toot my own horn, but I already be hitting the same hoes them niggas be hitting. I like so interview like, done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for I real. Like, yo, <laughs> oh, I God. like niggas who get bitches too. For yeah. real. Right? Oh, I, don't, I don't like being the one nigga to get some hoes. I like being around Man, niggas what? to get some hoes too. I fucks with that. Oh, yo. God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Hood Rick Pablo One. He might not ever tell you this. Like, I've been knowing Hood Rich for, like, that's my brother. Fuck what the people mm -hmm. say. All of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Free him, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, but, like, he might not tell you this, but I gave him his first threesome. Like, I had, it was, it was, it was one night, you know what I'm saying? So, let's close this out. Okay? It, was, it was one night, you know what I'm saying? We was at the club and shit. So, like, this back when we didn't really have, you know, but we was just kicking yeah, shit. Yeah, you was just using your lyrical yeah. game. You know that, that's so all like, it is. That's had, the best time, though. Yeah, that's the sure. best vibe. I had this little hoe, right? So she was like, she was at this party. I was living on the east side. She was at a house party on the east side. She mm -hmm. was like, come pick me up. I was like, cool. I pull up. She had her two friends with her. So now I got three bitches in the car with me at three in the morning. But I had just dropped Pablo off. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. So like... Hey, I'm like, what y'all trying to do? They was like, we want to, all three of us want to fuck you, Poppy. Like, one of them was Puerto Rican, one was white, and one was black. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, you had the so, whole like, <laughs> hell you, nigga. You, you right. had all oh, flavors. God. Okay. Pussy builds like, strong bones. So I'm like, damn. They, they wanted to smoke and shit, but I ain't had no weed. I had just dropped blow off with the weed, and we had took the liquor bottle we had from the club. Mm -hmm. A bottle of goose, he had the bottle. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hey, blow. You gotta come back out, bro. <laughs> I got three bitches, bro. Right now they're trying to fuck. I need weed and that and that goose bottle. Come on, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit. I would pull it right back up, pick blow up. We went and got a room while we in that bit swapping three bitches out. So it was just like that's my there's a bottle. That's, my, that, that, that's, that's, that's the ignorance we live for. Me. That's so, the American dream, right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. God, you know what I'm saying? If so, your man's shit. ain't gonna help you. Discover your first threesome. That ain't your man's. That ain't your man's. Nah, so not your man. That ain't your man. Real. You got to share some pussy for that to be. Yeah, your real, oh real God. shit. <laughs> so like, you know what I'm saying? My man, yeah. Doe, Let them know where they can find you shit. at, man. man Y'all can find me everywhere on every major platform: Apple, Spotify, Title, wherever, mm. wherever you get your shit at. Um, YouTube, Instagram, Cartel Doe, That's Cartel with a C, D O U G H. Make sure you spell it right. You know what I'm saying? So. That's my Twitter. That's my Facebook. Cartel Doe. Everything. Facebook. This because is 50. When I said that, wait, hold on. Before he <laughs> says that, on the last interview, when I said Facebook, he said, that's some old man shit. No, wrong. Nah, He's telling the story wrong. Shorty was like, she looked and was like, they think, oh, they think that's some old nigga shit. That's why. Nah, see, Facebook, I'm going to tell you, that's some country boy shit. Everybody mm. in the, like, everybody back home, that's how I stay in touch with them. Thank you. Cause they on Facebook, Thank they you. not on Instagram like that. Like exactly. you know that's real saying? shit right like, there. So cause like, they laying low, they yeah, not they not you know, doing none of that all shit. All my high school people, I yeah. went to school with friends, all of that, they on Facebook. That's the foundation. A couple of them on Instagram, but it's mm. like it, they not big on Instagram around there. And you gotta think Instagram is. It's the machine it, right Instagram now. Instagram is like showing a way of life, showing what you're doing, showing mm -hmm. capturing moments in life. And then ain't shit going, going on. on out they there ain't got shit capture. to capture. Uh, nah, nigga, you know what I'm that's saying? That's an ill perspective like, right there. I never even, yo. Mm -hmm. For real. There's so nothing like, for them to show. Like, it's nothing to show. So it's like, niggas, you get, and you get lost in that sauce when you go down. That's why I don't stay too long when I go down there. Because it's like, ain't shit going. You go down there. You be the fuck around and had the same clothes on for four days because it's like, it ain't where no I'm reason going. to change this shit. Where I'm going. Where? Like, I'm finna walk up the street, go to the liquor store. Like, that's how niggas live around there. Like, you ain't gotta get a haircut every two, three, four Yo, days, that's whatever. Real shit, so man. it's like, they not, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got shit to show. Man, Instagram, that's It's like Instagram Staten is Island in New York. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm <laughs> keep, keep it real dope. Um, 
we're going to have to do a part two of this because there's just so much intricate dialogue between the three of us. We could have so, bigger than music. It's just more life. And I think people need these gems differently. You feel me? Definitely. definitely. You know, so OC, um, 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 dope. Wow. when we come out here, pal, we're going to really, or when you come to New York, we're going to do this right. Man, let's Shoot do it, it like a lifestyle piece, roll around with S O N I. We're going to be like, yo, this is yeah. the next nigga. And it's, yo, you, nigga, you pull up with 200K, bro. We'll have, nigga, <laughs> I swear to fuck it. You'll look at us like, yo. Yeah. And yo, and, nah, and he's the nigga you the really got to fuck. We could do the video shit with him too. We could do the video shit with yeah, him. Yeah, the set same that shit we're doing with Dave East. Yeah. With, with Dave East, oh, yeah. Oh, see, that hard. That hard. Yeah, I, was yeah. working, I was working with some of Dave East folks when I was in New York Dave, during my yeah. press run. There you so go. There like, you go. There you go. And like, I was kicking with Dave East. I met him probably like two, three years ago. Very yeah, cool. He, um, he was out there at Trade Day. In Houston, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I was like with him all weekend, like it was a good little vibe. He a cool nigga. I fuck with Davies, you know what I'm saying? So right, this is 50. Yeah. This is Cartel Doe. Boom, you know we saying? out.